Can I ask the Leader if you could arrange for the Minister for Sport to come to the House? Um, I think it's important that we will have a debate about the funding uh, of our professional sports in this country. Um, Senator Hart uh, kindly mentioned uh, the Sligo Rovers win in the Cup, and I think anybody who uh, witnessed the game, attended or indeed watched it on television would agree that uh, the players from Drogheda and Sligo gave a fantastic spectacle that uh, would be uh, put any uh, manager or fans throughout the world um, uh, would be very proud of. Uh, it's worth noting that um, for winning that game, Sligo Rovers get nearly €50,000, Drogheda get €30,000, and the gate €170,000 would have been taken in. The players, the winning players from Sligo Rovers this day will go on the dole because they're only given 40-week contracts. Um, the esteem with which I think our National League is held, even by our National Association, is not that good at all when one considers uh, that the medals given to the players spelled on the back of them the engraving Sligo, uh, S-I-L-G-O. So we have these players who gave such fantastically over throughout the season. They're on the dole today. Their medals were spelled wrong. And this is all against a backdrop where we're making available two million for a new management team for our national sport. And while question, I wish, you have a question for the leader? I do indeed. We're, it's to have the minister into the house to discuss these matters because I believe you know, our priorities are wrong. Of course I wish John Delaney well and the new management team. We all want to see success. But when we see the people who week in, week out, provide the entertainment throughout this country from all clubs, are unemployed today, having uh, won a cup final the other day with merely 50,000 to share between them, I think is fundamentally wrong. Uh, and I think it's worth noting, and it's something that we should take an interest in, considering the support that government give to all of the professional associations, be it soccer, rugby and so on. Thank you. Kelly.